Hi everybody, it's Lavinia. Welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a kitchen boa or kitchen scarf using a fat quarter and as well as a dish towel. Now this dish towel is not directional, but uh, you can also use a directional one and I'll show you what to do if you use one of those. So a fat quarter usually measures about 19 by 22. This particular one is 19 by 21 and three quarters almost. And what I'm going to do is cut it lengthwise. So from the top to the bottom and I'll get two pieces and then I'll sew the two pieces together on the short end to make the scarf portion of the kitchen boa. And with the dish towel, I'm going to cut this in half here on the short end or on the width side so that I have these two pieces. Now, if you have a directional uh, dish cloth, what I would recommend is then turning over one of the cut ends and doing a seam or making a hem so that it will not unravel when you wash it. I One of the ones that I use with my cat fabric, I, I didn't hem it, but I had cut it with um, pinking shears. And after a while, if the thread started to come out, I would just trim those. But if you're looking to sell them or make them as a gift, I would recommend hemming them, um, the, the cut edge so that you have that um, nice and tucked away. So for this, again, the fabric that you're going to need is just one fat quarter and cut it in half lengthwise. Also one dish towel, cut it in half widthwise. And your tools will be rotary cutter, ruler, mat, scissors, pins, clips, of course your iron. And again, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take my uh, ruler and cut this in half lengthwise. Okay, so I've cut this in half with my using my rotary cutter, as you can see here, lengthwise. And if you wanted to use two different fabrics, two different fat quarters, you know, you can use one fabric for one side and another piece of fabric for the other one. You know, why not? Um, that might be fun too. And I already used my pinking shears and I cut the dish towel in half. And, you know, I didn't measure it or anything like that. I just took it from where... The fold was I didn't even open it I just cut through like that and I can always um, straighten up these edges these are going to be tucked inside anyway so that's what I did there all right so now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to and I didn't even cut the um, what do you call that the the selvage edge off of this. What I'm going to do, and as you can see here, uh, this fat quarter came with uh, its pinked edges here, but I didn't cut the selvage edge. I'm actually going to take the two selvage edges together. So I'm going to put it, put them pretty sides facing together. And I'm going to take this, you know, just clip or pin it here. And with a quarter inch seam allowance, or you can even do a half inch seam allowance, I'm going to take this to the sewing machine, just back stitch and do a straight stitch across. And when I come here, back stitch again. And this, this is the portion that will go over your neck. So that's why I'm not even going to bother cutting the selvage edge off. And so I'll take that to the sewing machine and I will show you. All right, so I'm at my sewing machine and I have white thread in the bottom, uh, bobbin, as well as on the spool, it's just white cotton thread and I do have enough in there. <laughs> if you've seen my other video, you know what I mean. So I've clipped here the side and I moved my needle just a little bit more further towards the left. So it's going to be a little bit more than a quarter inch seam allowance. I like using my seam guide and I have it clipped here. So again, this is the short end of the scarf because we this is the part that will go around the neck so just going to start here and I'm going to do a little bit of a back stitch and then just continue on down get rid of this Wow. 
again coming here, I'm just going to go ahead and back stitch. Turn off my machine. So I'm just going to trim this thread off. Sorry about the camera. The just went off a little bit, but I've got that there. So now I'm going to take this to the pressing station and I'm just going to press the seams open and I will show you then the next step. So here I have pressed my seams open and then what I did is I folded the fabric in half with the pretty sides together and I have gone down the length of the fabric and just pressed a crease in that. So just go down the length of the fabric and press that crease. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take, to, take this to the sewing machine and then with a quarter inch seam allowance, just um, sew down the length of the fabric. And in my other video, someone had, uh, had suggested making your hem at this point. And someone had asked if I could demonstrate what that meant. So what that means is that rather than um, stitching this first and then turning it inside out and making your hem, you would make your hem now, which would mean that you would fold it over, fold your fabric over like this. And I don't know. Um, I don't know, is that maybe an inch? half an inch, and then you would press this down and on both sides, and then take this to your sewing machine, and then just go ahead and sew down the length of the fabric. So that's another way of doing it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it just the way that I'm used to, which is I'll just turn the hem over um, once I'm done with that. But you could do it that way too, which again is at this point, you would make your hem at both sides, and then stitch down and you already have your hem. So I'm going to go ahead and clip down the length of the fabric and I will take this to my sewing machine, back stitch here and straight stitch again with a quarter inch seam allowance down the length of the fabric. So I cl clipped down the length of the fabric and here where the seams are, I just wanted to make sure that I clip or you know that you pin that so that they do match. So. I'm going to take the open side here, back stitch, and just do a straight stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance down the length of the fabric. So I've sewn down the length of the fabric, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tuck my hand in here and try and get this, because I'm going to press this seam open down the length of the fabric. So I'm try, going to try and get this as in center as possible. I mean, if it's a little bit off center, that's okay. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and press this down and I will show you then what I do to turn the hems. Now that I finished pressing the seams open, as I press, I also put a crease here at each side. It just makes it easier when you're going to put your dish towel in. And now that I've done, done with that, I am just going to take this and turn it right side out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just pull here through the center and then I will show you what to do next. I've turned it inside out and here is where the seam is. So I want that on top and this is where your creases were just to give you a guide. So I'm just gonna press that along here first with my hands. And this where the uh, seam is, again, if it's off center, that's okay, but this would be the back side of your kitchen scarf. So I'm just gonna take again my, um, my little iron here and just press down the sides. Again, just to give it that nice little crease. This is a fun fabric. It could be a little bit dizzying, but I do like the colors. This was from the Fat Quarter Shop. 
if you've seen my um, unboxing, I do monthly. This, um, I'm not sure if it was, I think it was the November unboxing. And I think the fabric was, I think it was lines. Yeah, all these lines. So I do like the colors. So I'm just pressing down this down the length of here. And then for, just for the hem here, I'm just going to turn this in just a little bit. I'm not really measuring. I'm just turning it in. And again, if you had sewn this, then it would have already been down. But, you know, it's whatever you prefer to do. So I'm just tucking that in there. And then just pressing down so that when you put your dish towel in there, it has this nice little hem there. So I'm going to do that there and I'm going to do it to the other side. And then we will start preparing our dish towel to insert it into our kitchen boa. I have my dish towel here and I'm going to take off, tear off this, or actually cut off this little instruction thing and what I'm going to do just to get where the middle of the dish towel is I'm lining up the bottom edge and I'm just going to lightly press here where the middle is because I'm going to be creating my um, my pleats so here's where the middle is. Maybe just iron that a little bit flat. So here's my middle line, and I'm just going to, let's see, just fold it over, maybe like that. And I'm going to take a clip, just clip that there. And you can use pins, I just like using the clips. So again, here's my center line and I'm just going to take that and fold it over. Like so. And you can make as many pleats as you want. You know, you can do um, a different kind of pleat, I suppose. I'm just doing this simple pleat here here and now the next step is we're going to insert this into one end of the the scarf here and I'm just going to make this I'm gonna bring myself just a little bit more even here there we go so this is the back side of the dish towel so we want to match it up with the back side of the scarf here so I'm just going to take this and just insert that in here maybe about an inch or so because I'm going to do two straight stitches so I just want to make sure that it captures the dish towel Like that so and I'm just going to put a couple of clips here like that. so I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'll show you what the next step is I thought I would show you I flipped it around and just so you can see so here's the edge and here's the edge of the dish towel. So it is just about an inch, maybe just a little bit shy of an inch. I'd rather have more fabric in here or more dish towel fabric in here than less. Uh, again, because I am going to do two stitches, two straight stitches going across so that it captures and secures that dish towel. Okay, so I'm hoping you'll be able to see. So what I'm going to do is just lift this up here and I'm using and I have my needle in the middle just there in the middle 
And what I'm going to do is um, line up the edge of my presser foot with the edge of this. So, like there. And I always just like to do a couple of stitches to you know, get this by, um, by hand just to get it moving. Let's see. And I'm going to, whoops, let's see. Do a couple of stitches and then back stitch just to secure that edge and then again just move forward in lining up the presser foot as best as I can to the edge of the fabric and then when I come here towards the end again I'm going to back stitch maybe a couple of times and that one side is or one is done and so here's your hem as you can see and now what I'm going to do is just do another stitch going along and I'm going to line up my presser foot with the stitch that we just did. So again, I'm just gonna do a couple of stitches, back stitch, and then just go forward. And turn off the machine. And now I'll do the same thing to the other side, but this is, take these clips off. This is how it, you know, we have a look, you know, and here's, here's the back side. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the other end and I will show you the completed project. So here is what it looks like, the front and the back. And I have to say, I really love the way it came out. I'll, um, I'll put this on a hanger so you can see the full length of the kitchen boa. Here's the completed kitchen boa. I really like the way it turned out. I really like the colors. I know that at this moment, this is doing some funky eye trick, but I think it really turned out really nice. I do like the way the color coordinates together. And if this wasn't going as a gift to someone, I would be keeping this one myself. So I hope you enjoyed this video and tutorial and like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Take care.